Yeah. I didn't tell you this last night because I was busy. Or I didn't tell you what happened to me last night because I was busy today. I pissed myself last night. In in bed? No. <laughs> so I was sleepwalking. <laughs> so kind of in bed? No. Out of bed but asleep. No, I wasn't. I fell asleep on my couch. You were piss walking. I'm I'm currently living at my parents' house right now, but not in my in-law apartment just yet. (laughs) Okay, you're in your childhood bedroom, sort of. I was on the couch in the living room. That's tough. And I got, well, I sleep in my bedroom, but I got up because, you know, sleepwalking, and the alarm was set to away. So I walked in to the (laughs) kitchen and set the alarm off. And I don't know if you've ever you, been You, in your sleep, up. went and turned off the alarm? No, 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 no. I set off the alarm. Oh, you slept walk the, your in housing front, alarm in off. In front of the sensor, and it set off the alarm. <laughs> and then, I don't know if you've ever been woken up while sleepwalking, but it is terrifying. And let me tell you, when I fell on the floor, I pissed myself a little bit. <laughs> Dude, you're a piss walk walking master. <laughs> cheers to the new stude. Hey, cheers to the new stude and cheers to piss walking. Wh- no, no. <laughs> cheers to one more online episode before we are fully in person. Hey. I-, I took the plunge and uh I had the time of my life. I finally took the plunge. You know what? Feels great. What's up, guys? Welcome to The Plunge. Today is a day. Joining me, as always, my lovely husband, Riley T. Say what's up, dude. What's up, dude? We're in person. We're in in person. In? New stude. New stude. It's this is my, I have to, I get to come somewhere. That's how That's I, how you break, I got a like shower person. right there on the other side of this wall. Uh, you gotta stop having showers so close I got to the, the studio. I know. <laughs> this is this nice. This is literally two out of three. I don't like that to look at you, I'm looking at the monitor to look back, even though you are Should immediately. Should I look at you on the. Just immediately to my left. <laughs> are you well, seeing double? No, I don't, I you're seeing. I don't have peripheral vision at all. Um, we're here. In, is this studio four? Four. You got Davis's basement. No five because the lake. I don't count the lake. The, we are lake? close oh, to the lake. Time excursion. The lake is a is a is a a pleasure stop, but I don't think it's a stewed. It hasn't earned stewed status yet. A stewed needs to be somewhat permanent. Have have like a a ten a twenty episode run. I also just remembered what I need to talk to you about. Is it the fat people? It's fat people. You said so. I don't remember what it was, but I told you to save it for the air, and it had to do with fat people. Um, I have something to talk about. Wait, so what are the studios? We have Davis's basement, the Ice Den, other the, the Adam, Adam and Eve Love Den. Den. We had my upstairs room for a little bit, but that didn't have that. TBD. That was the justified studio. I feel like when that I think also, of that was episode zero. That's where we're oh, that's my no. Two. That was my childhood bedroom. I'm talking for my the my spare bedroom and my last apartment. That that's all the same. That was the Justified studio. When I think of that studio, <laughs> the, pretty much the entire life of Justified was done in it. But I don't think of the plunge. <laughs> and uh, right. now here. Oh, I need. In the no name studio. What? Oh yeah, you need a coaster. You need two coasters. You brought two drinks down. One of them's not cold. It doesn't matter. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> I brought Coke from home. Uh, yeah, de- deplorable behavior. I'm I'm ready to admit to you. All while driving. I don't feel good about this one. I did. I coordinated all of this while highway driving. <laughs> so all of what? I'm getting my upstairs painted. My cousin is painting it. My cousin is also kind of like my aunt. She's one of my. I'm the youngest in that side of the family. I thought you meant like your cousin was. Male Talk cousin. louder or into the mic more. I thought you were yeah, saying you that like your cousin was like a male cousin, and then he turned into your aunt, aka like trans. Yeah, switch sides. Okay, nope, that's not it. Hit you with the doo wop. The doo wop, the bam. Doo wop, wop, bop, boop, bang, bow. No, so I did something deplorable. So my cousin 
But this cousin's like an aunt. She's the oldest of the family. I'm the youngest. Her children were like getting babysat by my mom when I was like 10. So it's one of those type. I look so small. You are. Well, you are. So I'm in a chair that's up and you're in a chair that's down. (laughs) And it really is doing wonders for the five (laughs) two uh, rumors. Six foot versus five eleven. Yeah. Um, I I don't mean to cut you off. So I stayed home for the morning (laughs) until she showed up so I could show her the rooms. I'm getting all three of my bedrooms upstairs painted. Because I, I just hate painting with a passion. A true passion. I hate painting. And she How many times have you done it? Like four? Paint a room? Yeah. Yeah, probably like four. <laughs> well, no, as an adult, probably like four. So as like a homeowner, like four times. I My parents used to own apartments, and I would have to paint that shit like every other year when that a tenant would move out. terrible. Yeah. Did you paint over like <laughs> everything? Sockets? Dude, everything. Yeah. Did you paint bugs into the windowsill? Yes. The king of not my job. Yes. <laughs> oh, Remember when I sprayed you a silly string in the, while in the you were pooping? Yeah. yeah. Like it, that? I couldn't get it out when I was doing my <laughs> final cleanup for my new tenant. Hope it was worth it. That was it's there's still blue silly string stain just in that window. That's so gross. I couldn't get it off. I tried. I was in the bathroom like bleaching everything and that was the thing that stood. Over all the piss in like that stood. Back to my deplorable behavior. That's already deplorable. So I showed her upstairs the rooms that were getting painted. You need anything? Like, let me know. Do you need? Should we we got her all the stuff she needed for it. I'm driving now to work. I have about a thirty minute commute. Twenty five of it's on the highway. Right. I'm about ten minutes into my drive. She texts me. She's like, "Do you have a hammer? Because there's some nails." And then it's pretty humid this morning, which was oddly humid this morning. I don't know if you were down here, but oddly common, man. Oddly human. Human. Oddly human. Oddly Very human. Very human design. Yep. yep. It's oddly human. She's like, do you have a fan? That way the paint won't drip or anything. I do have a fan. I have one fan in my house, okay? Like a box fan, a window fan. It's in my bedroom right now. It also happens to be underneath that window that my fan is in is my sex box that I did not put away. What do you What do you have in your sex box? Just a whole bunch of fun. Now <laughs> Okay. All right. This woman is like one of my aunts. Like Did you just like be level like, yeah, of above the sex toys? No. So <laughs> I'm thinking I I buy some time, right? I go, "Yeah, I have a hammer." And I give her directions to that toolbox right there. Did you have a closer hammer? No, I I don't have a closer. She was upstairs, and I was like, I only have one hammer. It's in a toolbox next to a lamp, a candle-looking light in the basement in a gray, squarish toolbox. Did you bring those lights with you? No, those absolutely came with the house. They are (laughs) atrocious. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I buy myself some time. I tell her where the hammer is. All this, well, 80 miles an hour. (laughs) I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I call up, I get an idea. I text LP's roommate, who I know works from home. Shout out, uh, Just Jackie. (laughs) You may know her from the Peas and Milk cast. Never forget. No longer Just Jackie, now LP's RM. Um, (laughs) LPRM? Yeah, the LPRM. I text her. I go, hey, can you do me a favor? (laughs) She's like, what's up? I start work in about 15 minutes. I go, I need you... I go, my painter needs a fan. It's really humid. Can you bring the box fan that Lauren uses to help her sleep? Can you bring it over to my house? (laughs) And she was like, I guess so. And, uh, yeah, I had a fan personally delivered so my my cousin wouldn't see my box of fun. You you disgust me. I disgust myself. I felt real bad that whole drive. You should have just been like, yeah, it's above the dildos. (laughs) And she would have been like, what? And then she'd go, yeah, I'd be what? like, you know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, I felt real deplorable for quite quite a while. That is, <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah, that's unexcusable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm honestly not okay with that. You're not okay with it? You know what I'm Why? also not okay with? Boxes of fun? Uh, no. People touring my fucking apartment while I'm there and then yeah. making comments about my lifestyle right now. <laughs> All right, so 
Tell tell me. Oh God. Give her smack. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Are we back? We're back. We're back. We're b- wait. Are we? Yeah. Are we? Oh, okay. Oh my God. This mic is fucking. Two hundred dollar microphone. Don't it? By the way, decides to not work sometimes. I think it's the plug. There's all there's a hundred something dollar mount in the fucking cord they have in it. What do you sucks. have? A forty two cent cord. The cord came with the mount. <laughs> <laughs> Paid extra to have the cord with the fucking mount. Uh, all right, so you're you're moving soon. Let's give some background yeah, here. At the end of next week, I'm moving all of my shit out, cleaning my apartment, and then I'm done there. You're all leaving right? Maine. Yeah, I'm leaving Maine. The after the first like four days of November, I'm staying with uh, Schlebby, and after that, like I move home. I'm I'm not in school technically for like four months, but in the meantime, I have people who are like coming in and touring my apartment. That's all well and fine. Uh, I've had two weird cases where it was like an autistic man came. Like, the night before his tour, showed up 30 minutes before his appointment time, bothered me, and then told my landlord that I said stuff that I didn't. <laughs> Dude, absolute psychopath, low-functioning that is, autist. That is wild behavior. Unexcusable. <laughs> and, what, what is it, three days ago now? I texted Riley, because... What were we doing? Were we doing a Tears Day on Friday? Yeah, we were doing a Tears Day. So... I, I texted Riley because there are two enormously fat people. How big are we talking? I, I didn't quite grasp how big. Like, probably pushing 450. Okay, so some units. Yeah, like some big Couple people. refrigerators came wandering into your, your room. Yeah. Okay. And they were like, do we get the washer and dryer? And Pat was like, my landlord, who's a bro, by the way. Good dude. Good dude. Certified good dude. <laughs> yeah, this is a good fucking dude. But he 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 goes, Yeah, the previous tenant sold it to me for a good price, which I wasn't gonna fucking move it. So I was like, Hey, will you buy this for two hundred dollars? It's like half broken. Oh, uh, I got you, some bad news. What? Just went to the Facebook. My mom's watching. <laughs> for what? Mom, it's not supposed to watch. Oh, is it the fan? <laughs> Huh? The fan. Yeah, part? the fan. <laughs> but these people open my pantry and they're just like, he doesn't even have any food in here. And I was like, <laughs> what? Who the fuck are you to judge me? The big guys. They know food. Is the thing is like, I was I was literally waiting for them to leave so that I could join a meeting for my internship. And then they're like, yeah, he doesn't even have any food in there. I'm like, what were you gonna do? Eat it? That's mine anyways. <laughs> it doesn't it shouldn't affect what I can guarantee if you had a, a can of, of beef aroni in there, they were going to town on your beef aroni. <laughs> Dude, I have like canned vegetables, a half eaten bag of spicy nacho Doritos, and like half a dozen of cookies from Hannaford. I'm glad I'm not the only one who lives that way. Well, I'm only living that way right now because I don't want to move food when I move. You talking to me like you cash usually have food? Yeah, I do. I got you don't snacks know. at least. Oh, <laughs> yeah, with snack guys. Yeah, big snack guys. I'm a big snack guy. I'm getting fat right now. I can do that now. Yeah, that's nice. But don't worry, don't worry. When I move back, I'm getting fit. Hey, hey, we are getting we fit. we are getting fit. Which <clears throat> I'm really not even fat, but I am getting a little pudgy. Listen, pudge is good. It's winter. Yeah, I'll be warm. I have a gripe with I'm bulking uh, right now. <laughs> fuck those fat people. Was it two guys or a couple? It was two women. Oh. It's you can't you can't take that. You gotta No, I was pretty pissed. You they gotta bring them to you like... gotta bring them behind the barn and finish them off. You can't let them talk to you like that. <laughs> yeah, no, I felt I got put in my place. Honestly, it did make me feel good about myself because they're like, he ain't even got no food in here. And I was like, That's what a skinny person would do. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm not. <laughs> How's that beer? Ice cold. This is the best. It is the best. Nothing like a good Bud Light. Um, dude, I have so many free dinners coming up. Why? 
Because Cause of me? Am I going to pay for them? I don't know. Maybe. Do you want to? Do you want to be added to the list of people who are going to be buying me dinner in the next two weeks? Why are people buying you dinner? This is my last two weeks like in Maine. Oh, are people like, let me take you out? Yeah. Oh, you think you've, you've left that good of a mark on some people? Dude, I'm not even kidding you. I have four dinners next week. <laughs> four dinners. As much as I don't want to believe it, I do, and I'm happy for you. It's but. like all Hannaford people that are like, let me take you to dinner or lunch. Yeah, that's that's your good part is you just have a bunch of rich pharmacists being like, I got you. Yeah, it's fucking sick. Yeah. It literally- and they're, listen, they're not taking you to Texas Roadhouse. They're probably taking you to places that are good. No, I mean, like, uh, on, um, like, weekends, I'll, I'll, they're occasionally me and whichever one of my bosses is there. Uh, if I'm like, hey, do you want to grab beer after? Like, we'll go out and grab beers, and usually they're like, I got the tab. <laughs> and I'm like, mm, I can just, like, we only got, like, four beers. I can pay. And they're like, I got the tab. You're, you, you're a student. I'm like, it's literally oh, God. $17. We, I can afford $17. We just got the most will comment of all time. From who? It says, at a fancy dinner in Disney right now. Love you, boys. I've been asking everyone that I can. Pancakes, waffle, French toast. There's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> hey, Will, stop tuning in if you're at dinner. I don't know why you're in Disney because I haven't been reading the chat. I've been busy. There's um, Just enjoy the time. But 0% chance. I want to know what he considers fancy dinner. What if they're at like, the, the, the ball place in the castle? Don't think they are. <laughs> you, Gonna... can't, you can't discount that, though. We, I can. It's, it's Schrodinger's dinner. It's both it's, a fancy dinner and a and non-fancy yeah, dinner true. until we look in the box. Will is eating <laughs> Will's eating a burger with fucking mouse ears, and he's like, this is the fanciest <laughs> dinner I've ever had. Oh, my God. I love I, Will. I love Will, too. I love the idea that he's in line for Space Mountain, and he just butts into the family he's ahead of him. a soft pretzel. <laughs> he butts into the family ahead of him's conversation. They're in line for 90 minutes to ride this 30-second roller coaster. And he's going to hit he's like, the, hey, uh, He's like, hey, yeah. Uh, I mean, let me know what you guys think on uh, this <laughs> one. Uh. All right, you got pancakes, waffles, a French toast. Rank them in order. Go. Fuck one, and, marry one, and kill one. These people just turn. They're like, what the fuck did I just hear? <laughs> they they get out of line. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're so mad. They're like, <laughs> did you just ask me? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> hey, Will, if you're still watching, can you and me grab a beer? I've never hung out with just Will, and I feel like that'd be a fucking roller coaster ride. I made Will soup on Sunday. I like that. Yeah. He walked the best thing someone can say to you when you're making a soup. Good soup. Walks in my front door and he goes, Oh, it smells great in here. <laughs> and I went, Oh uh, dude, the pictures you sent that French onion. Mm, dude, banging. My, my frongian soup. Dude, I wanna have some French onion soup. I haven't had any since the uh what's that onion place? Where's my onion? Or who how is my onion? Is that where something my took onion? Us? Yeah. And they have really good French French onion. French onion soup. French onion. French onion soup. <laughs> you, dude, you were squeaking against the wall behind yeah, you. Yeah, listen, I didn't <laughs> leave us a lot of room in this little desk area. I don't know why you don't add more. Just move the desk out? Yeah, like <laughs> six inches. I could. You literally could move it half. You could move it three inches. Three inches is enough. Listen, three inches got, is we good. We got cord hell over here, though. Right, you know Dude, that do? is fucking... You need to get, like, a power saw and take those things off. I could what? just screw them off, but I don't want to ruin the integrity of the desk. I'll get short with you. Here we go. <laughs> this is sweet. I'm a little boy now. This is the chill cast now. Yeah, this is the... We're, <laughs> we're hanging. Uh, rank them. Rank them. Rank them. The rank them. Me? Yeah. Uh, it's gotta go. Pancakes one, French oh. toast two, waffles three. Terrible take. Was, you're terrible, dude. You know why I picked it that way? Because you knew I'd be mad about it. No, 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 no. Because that's the best way. That's it's the best way. But you know what the best pancakes are? Blueberry from uh, Poor Boys. Not blueberry. What do I get? Oh, you get M M&M. and M. Yeah, M and M pancakes from Poor you're Boys. You're a fucking child, <laughs> my brother. <laughs> Oh. I like when you get M and M pancakes from Poor Boys. You know why? Usually, let me get about a half of one. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. At this point, it's not that I couldn't finish it, but it's more for like respect. Yeah, for you he's brother. like, hey, you hey. want you want half a pancake? And you're like, uh, yeah, I do. It, it, that'd be the perfect finisher <laughs> to this meal. You uh, know who doesn't get half a pancake? LP. She can't handle half a pancake on top dude, of a meal. Did they take away one local egg? By the way, 
No. Okay. One local egg will never die. Local They've, is local, local milk. Local milk is <laughs> it's the best menu item of no, all time. One, one local egg, just because. It's better than local milk. Yeah, it is. It has one. a unit. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's one, one local, local egg. egg for six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one forty nine. Is it one forty nine? I, think I don't so. remember. It's a great picture. It's an all time picture. Every time I go there, I didn't send you one this week. I feel ashamed of myself. No, that's okay. I've been busy. I had some fla- some Vegas flashbacks when I went to <laughs> when I went to Tucker's this weekend. When I come back, can we go to the? Uh, like yeah, we're, we're going. To fucking Denny's, we're getting a grand slam. No, 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 not Denny's. What's the uh, the place that is next to the strip club that you can play blackjack? Oh, and we go to Vegas? No, uh, not Vegas. You saying Vegas? What's that poker? Not poker room, but Filatimos. Filatimos. Can we go to Filatimos? There's no strippers at Filatimos. No, I said it's near it. Isn't oh. that a strip club like right in the same parking lot? I don't know. Yeah, we can go get to it. Filatimos, get Swag. our gamble on. Swag. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little more money when I move home. I can't wait. <laughs> Oh yeah, but I had a flashback because oh oh hold on before yeah. we move on, I'm getting a free couch. Do you have any comment to add? Any apologies you'd like to make? Any? No, because I'm paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pay for it like now and you get it in like three months? No, I'm going on Saturday. <laughs> when do you get it? Probably two months. I don't know yet. Yeah, free couch. I need, I, yeah, free couch. That's a free yeah. Couch. I've changed my attitude. So I well, you you you. Right now, it's not a free couch. It's not a free couch. Not for until you the yet. day after when I walk out. I'm like, no. all right, well, that money's gone. No, 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 no. It's gonna become a free couch for you. Whatever the midway point between you paying for the couch and you implementing usage of the couch, that's when it becomes a free couch. There is a sliver of a chance. Yeah, you have if, to pay for the couch. No, no, no. That it might not be a free couch, and I might get it that day because Ashley's furniture is going out of business. Oh uh, no, they're the worst. You're never getting that couch. Why? Can I tell you why I got a free couch? Is it because of Ashley's furniture? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want to come on Saturday? Look at couches with me, my parents, and my grand. Uh, do my, you want to grandson? ever? Do you want to ever receive the couch? Not really. I kind of want to donate some money to <laughs> Ashley's furniture. Maybe they'll stay stay in business. You will not receive a couch. I had a couch on order for six months, and then they delayed it. It was supposed to be shipped like a month from whenever I bought it. They delayed it every time, and then one time they're like, yeah, it's going to be about six months now. And I was like, you know what else is going to be six months? Nothing, because I'm taking my couch back. Give me my money. And they were like, okay. Where did you get your couch? Ashley Furniture. Oh, I got it from some Latino family on Facebook. I want to get a nice. If couch. you sniff some got of the one in like two months. If you sniff some Maybe of the pillows just, close enough, you can smell smell the spices. Maybe they just didn't <laughs> like you. Ashley Furniture. Yeah. No, they. The, the, remember how I got fucking robbed into paying for an insurance plan? Yeah. Because I was talking shit about my brother. Yeah. Yeah, that was Ashley Furniture. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Hey, you want to know? What? Don't fall for the insurance. I'm not player. going to because I'm not a bitch. So they'll be like, "Do you want insurance?" And I'll be like, "No." no. <laughs> you know, like a rational human being. So yeah, I'm going to Ashley Furniture because I'll probably get a sick deal. You might. Probably. I don't have money as it is, so. That's true. I mean, what? <laughs> Just don't go on a payment plan like someone we know. Is that Jack? No. Who the fuck? Got a couch on a payment plan. That was Tuba. You know who didn't pay for that couch? Our dog. Did Tuba have to give the couch back? Tuba sold the couch for like a hundred dollars <laughs> to Jackie and Lauren. <laughs> I, does he still have the payment? Plan? I don't know. I. What did they go to repo? It? I. No, he's like, I. I don't have it. I keep. I make that joke often. I was like, Jackie, you know that couch is just gonna get. Re- it's gonna, you're gonna come home. It's gonna be gone. It's gonna be long gone. <laughs> Is that considered so stolen property? I think you inherit the debt if you buy. If you, you would have to do like a bill of sale, but that person would inherit the debt. I feel like. But then again, maybe Imagine they have to disclose doing a the bill debt. Of sale for anything other than like a, a car obtained firearm, or yeah, or a car. No, because you just take the car and then you re-register it. Yeah, but you need a bill of sale to get the registration. Are you sure? Yes. What if you just have the last registry? You're like, this is my brother. Why does he have a different last name that sounds Spanish and you're white? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, I had to go. Th- remember when I had a car dealership? I had to go through all that. I'm I'm up to date. <laughs> remember on my- when? I- yeah, I forgot. I'm up to date on my car shit. Don't you, you still, worry. You still do that? I still own it. 
I still own the LLC. You and Corey still do Plunge it. Plunge Auto LLC. Yeah, they, no, we don't still do it. Corey got a job, and then th- that was Corey's. Why don't you do it anymore? That you was Corey. Make money because that was Corey's COVID. I don't have anything to do right now. Job. Could we do that when I move home? We could. Do you want to? I guess you're gonna need a bit more capital there, Bucko. I'm yeah, give me like fucking the... eight months. Yeah, if you get, yeah, give you, I'll give you eight months, and then what we do is we front Corey and tell him to go buy <laughs> two cars at a time now <laughs> instead of one. And then we have a lot. That's why we couldn't get the uh, our car dealership because they were like, "You need a lot," and we're like, "We're never gonna have more than two cars." And they're like, "You still need a lot." And we're like, "We're a car dealership." <laughs> <laughs> we did look for place. We did look for lots. Uh, <laughs> could you buy like just a two car lot? That sounds like a garage. I <laughs> <laughs> can I rent my own garage of my old apartment to be our lot? <laughs> I don't see why not. You own the property. You could just be like, yeah, you can't fucking park there. I could do that. And then you have a three-car lot. I am a three-car lot. I'm the whole-ass building. I am the building. Um, Yeah, Bloody Marys were giving me flashbacks because I was slamming them in Vegas. And then I saw one. It was like I was a fucking heroin addict. And I was clean. And then I pull up that Tucker's drinks menu. And they were like, get the Tuck's signature Bloody Mary. And I was like, Fuck! <laughs> And then I didn't because in Vegas they're free and at Tucker's they're fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> Dude, you know what I have at my apartment right now? Tell me. Apple cider. That's nice. And champagne. What's that called? A hot toddy. Is that what the drink's called? I don't know. Look up look up uh champagne and apple cider. Okay. I can do that. I don't know what a hot toddy is, but I hear people talk about them all the time and they say that they're really good. Do you want to make hot toddies for when I come back? What's a hot toddy? I don't know. It's just an apple cider mimosa. Well, that's what I did on Football Sunday. You I just had... made some... No, you went apple picking because you're gay. Well, yeah, so are that... you. <laughs> no, I... My lady knows better. If she wants me to go apple picking on a Sunday, we're leaving at 9 a.m. You had to go apple picking at 1 p.m. on a Sunday. Yeah, but I already... I told you this that over text. That is blasphemy. I was sick the last weekend, so I had to... Doesn't matter. Nah, it was the last weekend. Tell her to wake up early. Huh? Oh, the last weekend you're close to each other? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I that, guess so. Yeah, I'm not going to do that to her. If she wanted to go, I'm a good guy. Yeah, and you don't wake up early. That is a caveat in this. That's not in your vocabulary. No, dude. I fucking woke, I woke up at 7.40 today because I thought I had to be in Concord for 9. Turns out didn't have to be there until 11.15. <laughs> so that kind of sucked. But that is tough. I also need to check and see. I just forgot. The I also need to check my email. I'm a big email guy now. Are you? Yeah, I have to be. Why? Uh, just because things going on? Yeah, that's how they uh, communicate with us. Which I don't think he ever sent us an email. I'll figure it out. I'll text uh, it. Remember how I was tapped by Nielsen? Yeah. They sent me a crisp $10 bill in the mail for <laughs> for filling out their survey. Did you get picked? I don't think so. <laughs> but <laughs> like, hey, bro. It literally was like a piece of paper folded and just a $10 bill. I was like, I didn't think this would work. I'm going to be on. <laughs> I didn't think there we'll give you $10 to fill out this survey was real. I didn't think if it was real, this would be the form that they would... <laughs> Deliver said payment. I <laughs> thought surely it would be a different type of payment. Was it actually crisp or was it like a? Year? It was a crisp ten dollar bill. Almost thought it was fake, like some shitty coupon for Nielsen. <laughs> Hold on. But no, Stephen also the kid that I'm on rotation with that I'm in class with yep. or went to UNE with also did not get an email, so we don't know where we're going for nine a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> Are you local? Yeah. Is that why you're back for the week? Yeah, I'm with the New Hampshire district manager because uh my current preceptor is on vacation okay that's so, nice yeah that's kind of how it works and i'll be working for nate if i get hired anyways that's is, this dm is he gonna be in our fantasy football league too no <laughs> the guys you invited who are you work with to our fantasy football league are fucking atrocious your boss al is zero and 12 <laughs> it's 0 and 12. I fucking love Al, though. Dude, he's 0 and 12, and he always fights with Adam Simmons. I know. It's it funny. It makes me laugh. He's like, uh, another one of these fucking young idiots. And Adam's like, I'm not one of them. <laughs> like, Adam Simmons? Yeah. 
You know who? You know how? Like the two guys that I invited, both in their thirties. Yeah. Well, that was the funny part. Adam McDonald, Amac. Yeah. He's not bad. It's gonna take a year or two for his team to pop, but. Well, the thing is, Al just kept going at Hunter or at Adam, and then he would be like, "Classic one of Hunter's twenty-year-old idiot friends," and I was like, "This is so funny that of the twenty Hunter's twenty-year-old idiot friends, there are the ten idiot friends in this chat." He picked the one that was his age and, like, not one of, like... <laughs> Literally one of the most successful people I know. I do love Adam. He's been just drinking. He's been slamming bloodies at Atlantic City. I can't He's believe... He's been getting sketty a lot. What's that mean? Like, eating spaghetti? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, I would kill for some sketty Dude, right now. I had some kielbasa, steamed broccoli, and corn for dinner. Interesting. It was, I, I called. I, L- I just picked all the stuff that was in the fridge. I called LP. I was like, "Can you please go get me a frozen bag of meatballs tonight?" Yeah, she was like, "No." And I was like, "Please." Is she is she coming over tonight? <laughs> yeah, she's probably here right now. That's what's up. She'll probably come down. She'll wander down the. Oh ho! She'll wander down the stairs. You you'll see her. If she comes down. Yeah, I hope that that picked up. Even though I covered the mic, <laughs> it did. I can assure you, it did. <laughs> uh, huh? What do you you like the new student? I do. It's comfy. It's cozy. Yeah. Comfy cleaner makes your home cleaner today. I can't wait for you to see my apartment. Your your in law apartment? Yeah. I've seen it. When it's furnished with my stuff. I've seen it. No. It's okay. not furnished with my stuff, dumbass. What stuff do you have? You have a desk and a bed that you put on the ground without a, a table. Bo- without a frame. I have a table. Are you gonna invest in a bed frame? Yeah, my dad built one. <laughs> So You're so sad. <laughs> I invested $0. It's I can't look so fucking good. I can't believe Shelby <laughs> decides Are to. you insulting Paul's uh, craftsmanship? <laughs> oh, insulting your current one, <laughs> which is none. You don't have one right now. When's the last time you had a bed frame? <laughs> You've had you have to think. I don't know. It's been <laughs> at least 4 years. <laughs> <laughs> like does uh, the bunk bed I got in my dorm count? If you exclude that, eight years. Because <laughs> I, I used to. So before I went to college, I used to sleep on the in law apartment side with, uh, not not even like a box spring. I just had a mattress on the floor. That was it. That was uh. So I guess the last. No, it would have been nine years because I did that for like a full year. Yeah, that's deplorable. But you're talking about me being deplorable behavior. You were the one who called your own behavior deplorable. Don't you put that on Listen, my name. Do you know why? Because it is. It is truly, <laughs> it was truly deplorable behavior. Anytime I feel bad about something I did, <laughs> that's how you know. I feel bad about nothing. I've done nothing wrong here. I'm living comfy, cozy, cleaner. <laughs> Making my home cleaner. <laughs> have you seen the um? Have Probably you seen? Not. I'm, have, I'm gonna be honest. I think you might. Have you seen phone booth boxing? No. <laughs> oh, do I have something to show you? It's one of my favorite things I've seen on the internet. Um, it's obviously Russian. Do you have Pornhub? I don't think so. Do it. I I Open a new tab. I don't use my computer for for the the hub. You jerk off mobily? Yeah. <laughs> it's called Phone Booth MMA. Oh, fuck you. you might- no, They're StreamYard. Really StreamYard. advertising StreamYard on StreamYard, huh? Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> Share audio. Oh, yeah, I have to do that now. You've always had to do that. Well, I don't. Well. No, because it goes through my shit. We're fine. It's fine. It goes through my shit, huh? Not, you just did it again. You're not. Well, no, because sh- it goes through my shit. All right, so this is, they start back-to-back, okay? This is Russian phone booth MMA. (laughs) Does somebody get knocked out? Can you full screen it? (laughs) So, (laughs) they start back-to-back. Is it illegal to, like, bash their head in by, like, throwing your body back? I don't know. (laughs) Dude, this is so (laughs) sick. How do you police that? Oh, he got him. Oh, he's back up. He's getting clocked. Oh, my God. Look at the ref just put his arm in and be like, ah, ah. 
He just gets it in. He's like, I gotta get it. Is this boxing or MMA? It's I. Well, how much MMA can you do in a phone booth? I mean, you can still choke someone out. It's essentially booth. boxing, but I, I'm sure. <laughs> imagine getting an arm bar or a fuck. <laughs> imagine getting a Kimura. <laughs> You're like leaned up against the top of the booth. Imagine getting him in a fucking full Nelson. It would be incredible. But yeah, I think we need more of this. They just have to let him out. This dude just got clocked, and now he has to step out of a phone booth. Is it Winter Stays On style? Hi, Loho. I told you, she popped down. What's that? That was tires. You're a belt bag a bitch now? Blood bag bitch. Wow, looks great. Uh, is this the same video? It is. But look at these just clean shots. Just fucking. Is there more of this? Because I would like more of you it. You see Dana White is adopting the American Slap Fight League? I've been <laughs> on that shit since COVID. Uh, listen, it's it's a good league. Can you look up the meatball slap fight? Again. It's pretty sick. Meatball slap fight. You can watch the one from Moist Critical. It's the third one down. Third one down? It might not be Moist Critical, but... Get slapped silly. I forget his name. He's just clocking people. Dude, they it's call him the Sunday meatball. In Russia, where two men participate in a slap off until one of them is left standing. This guy, he this eats, eats slaps, too. Yeah, dude, his beard creates a force field around like his chin. Contests and dance battles, but none could compare to this now topless bout of <laughs> The now topless bout. Why aren't they loading up? Is it like a respect thing? Like Kind of like if I don't load up, you don't load up. But if I, I load up and go for a finishing shot, I get to load up and go for a finishing shot? I don't know, dude. He might slap the soul out of the small dude's body if he does that. That's I think he's just trying not to catch a case. That's fair. Look at that soft one. He's yeah, he being nice. Vasily Kamatsky, the demigod of the slapping. Came from a similar event last year, still in Russia, at the Sarichev Power Expo, with a prize of, you guessed it, about four hundred and sixty dollars. <laughs> that is not enough to get slapped you know, in the face through like probably ten rounds of slapping. So the undercard fights are slap three slaps, and the main card fights are five. Really? And there's uh, cards. Yeah. Dude, I told you, I've been on this shit. Vasily Kamatsky is the most terrifying man in MMA. Is slapping a martial art? Yeah, I think so. It's, it's got to fall under uh, combat. It's got to fall under combat sports. I don't know if it's MMA. <laughs> I don't know if it's martial arts, but it is a combat sport. I think we can make that. There's also like a backyard slap fight ring where like inbreds slap each other. It's pretty cool. I have seen that one. Mike, remember Mike, our... Uh, Mikey from TikTok, yeah. the guy who has a horse wife. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's he's a backyard. No, you're thinking of street fights. I am thinking of street fights. No, backyard slap fight is different. I don't remember the name of it. Also, I see some horny shit on your timeline. Not no horny shit on my timeline. What's the yellow pants lady? Are we doing rock out with a talk? Out we right can now? do rock out with my talk out. Um, I gotta say. Yellow Pants Lady is very funny, which is why I liked it. Well, how do wait, 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 know wait. do you know what Rocking Out With Our Talk Out is brought to you by? I don't. Can you can you tell me? Yes, yeah, brought to you by Official Clothing. Brand rooted in hip-hop, Official is a streetwear company creating high-quality t-shirts, hats, and jewelry at an affordable price. Featuring recreations of classic hip-hop and sports logos, as well as original designs, there's something at Official for all tastes. See yourself at ohfishl.com. That's official.com. And don't forget to use code PLUNGE at checkout to save 25% off your first order. Official clothing. Live by your own rules. That's a dollar. <laughs> it is a dollar. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, let's get talked. How do blind people know when to stop wiping? <laughs> it's yeah, very. Dude, she kind of thick. It's very rare that a TikTok has me like, Fully belly laughing, like I was watching this in bed and just dying laughing. Dude, this guy has some mild moobs. Too. He does. Blind people know when to stop wiping. I didn't know what I was getting into Is she either. Actually, blind. I would guess not. Oh, she looked at the camera. Yeah, she either. looked right at the camera. She did the Stevie Wonder. Dude. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck! 
I feel like he's in your house doing that. Yeah, just yelling. Uh, I got to Gabe has, remember how Gabe got to one million followers? Yeah. Do you have any followers he's at? A thousand. It is exactly one still. He's still, he has not grown. He had exponential growth and he has been plateaued for a year and a half now. At one mil? Everybody got sick of him. It was like, you know what, I'll keep, I'll, he can keep my follow, but I'm done. Do no people, more growth. Do people shit on him? I think so. That's pretty, what's up? Uh, I have a new favorite TikToker. I think you're going to have a new favorite TikToker. It's incredible. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong screen. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome to episode eight of Will It Knows, the series where I stick miscellaneous objects up my nose, see if they go in through one nostril and out the other. And uh, as you can see, uh, this episode takes place outside. You might be wondering, well, why are we outside? I'm going to be putting a piece of bush in my nose. We're just going to use the scissors to... Uh... You think it'll nose? I don't think it'll nose. Okay. Clip a piece of... Come on, what? Work. I, I just I just realized that the, the, the scissors broke. <laughs> Speaking of scissors, the uh, scissor video got removed for dangerous acts. So I, I'm going to say in these videos now, don't try this. Uh, the obvious follow up now is we do have to go. Did he put scissors? In we the, I, I have think the scissors nosed. Don't say you'll try this. I don't care if you have a goat seed septum like mine. <laughs> just 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 don't. So a uh, piece seed. of a bush in my yard. Will it nose? Uh, yes, and, <laughs> and hopefully now the inside of my nose will smell slightly less like a uh, rotting corpse. That is yucky. You like him? No. What? That's creepy. You don't like Will It Nose guy? He said goatsy my nose. Welcome to episode 7 of Will It Knows, the series where I stick miscellaneous objects up my nose to see if they go in through... He has an impressive trait of looking like a, hero- her- <laughs> a horribly ugly man and woman. <laughs> It's hard to do both. Yeah, he's Schrodinger's ugly. One nostril and out the other. Today's episode, clothes hanger. That's so, so clothes big. hanger. Will it knows? Well, well, yes. <laughs> Whenever I do this and I say, "Will it knows?" Yeah, it chances are fucking noses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that changed my mind. You're back in. Yeah, show me. Uh, that. We got cheese stick, pencil. Show me cheese stick. Takis. Takis seems like it would hurt. I want to see cheese stick and then takis. Toothbrush. I want. I think it's cheese stick oh, we can't up. watch fucking scissors. It got taken down. Show me cheese stick. Okay. Welcome to episode five of Will It Knows, the series where I stick miscellaneous objects up my nose to see if they go through one nostril and out the other. Today's episode, cheese stick. Fo- folks, we 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 got a, we got a problem here. Maybe if I like split it in half, it'll work. It got slightly farther up there, <laughs> but I'm having issues like grabbing it and pulling it through. So cheese stick. Will it knows? Not so. Ah! 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 I mean, he is a putrid human, so we should have expected that. All right, pencil. His bedroom looks pencil like? or taki or toothbrush. Oh, taki. Welcome to the second episode of Will It Knows, the series where I stick miscellaneous objects up my nose. Today's object: takis. Of all the hurt. stupid ideas d- devised by by mankind, this this is probably the the, the stupidest one. So Takis, does it knows? No, and I He's had to do multiple it. takes of this video, so multiple Takis went up my nose. I fucking oh, hate it's fucking Takis. wet on the end too. Welcome to the second. Ep- oh, he didn't need it. Okay. Um. Damn. Of all the, th- I thought like because the first three I watched were all nose. Coat hanger did nose. Welcome to episode 6 of Will It Knows, the series where I stick miscellaneous objects up my nose to see if they go in through one nostril and out the other. And as you can see, we're in the bathroom today, because in fact, we're doing the toothbrush episode. So toothbrushes. Oh, it's got a nose. nose. It's got a nose. Just Ah! just barely. And and this one actually really hurts. (laughs) Ow. Here's a cool bonus one because I have to clean my nose out after doing each one of these. Cotton swabs. Do they nose? It's so gross. Yes. Yes, they do. Oh, it's like Welcome bloody. It was so bloody. Sick. Oh, I feel sick. Yeah, it's so gross. I think I've had enough of Will It Knows. <laughs> I gotta see Pencil first. 
Welcome to episode four of Will It Knows, the series <laughs> where I stick miscellaneous objects up my nose. Regardless, I think we have found a series to continue following up on. That was very gross. Yeah, the, the, the bloody <laughs> fucking Q-tip. To see if they go through one nostril and out the other. Today's episode, a pencil. It's sharp. I know most of you saw that video of me in the cafeteria doing this, but I got some comments asking me to do it again. I'm going to guess it noses them. I'm going to guess it does I'm nose. praying he goes eraser first. That's my only hope here. Oh, well, here it is again. <laughs> yes, it noses. That's so gross. Yeah, it's it's disgusting. It is gross. Smell Tom Ford ombre leather... Do an he's um he's getting to Gabe status, fragrance kid. I don't like him. So you know how there was a point where people were starting to play a game with Gabe's videos, where they would put a check mark on like they would have fuck baby yeah KFC baby like and they would like put a mark for each word. Yeah, people are starting to do that with him. They're doing like mm, they just have like comes, comes pants, fresh spring smells like ocean, like they they it he, smells good. good. This kid has to have the richest parents on earth, by the way. Dude, he is manhandling that packaging with those fucking paws. Tom well, Ford ombre leather. I do like him better when he has a bucket hat on. He's got bad hair. He's getting old. Ooh, that was good. Ooh! <laughs> oh, the part we've been waiting for. It smells like leather with leather. Yes! It like an old man's leather jacket. Ooh. Who would want to smell like that? Ooh, it's good. Yeah. Kind of sweet, kind of sweet, kind of fresh. You should definitely, definitely buy this. Uh, sweet is one of his, his go-to words. Hey, I'm in Nordstrom in Scottsdale Fashion Square, Arizona, one. and we're going to be trying Jimmy Man's shoe in tents. Yeah, he is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Whoa. It's, it's, it's fresh. fresh. <laughs> it's good. It's, it's fresh. Oh, what is it? It's oh, ocean. Aqua ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. Fresh. Very subtle and smooth. And ocean. Good. And ocean. man, this is good. I recommend buying this one. <laughs> it puts it back down on the shelf. Smacro one roll call. I'm Zach Presley. The king of we got more micro. Dude, I've been Roll seeing calls. them on Instagram too now. I want to go to one of their shows. Ivar the micro. Ivar the micro is the best. Or or Chief Littlefoot. Micro How? Jackson is also yeah, pretty let's... fucking good. I'm Zach Presley. The king of entertainment, Michael Jeff. Jay Amazing. It's your boy How Rod. Damn. Jamaican Joe, baby. <laughs> and brother, look. Haven't seen Jamaican Joe before. Big fan. I saw Jamaican Joe on Instagram. He freaked out. Show? Micro Cowboy Hank Dalton. Right, right, baby. Andrew the Giant! <laughs> they just throw Andrew the Giant. Dude, he started laughing. Chief Littlefoot. How? Oh. <laughs> Smack row one row. I fucking wow. love them. How much would you pay to toss a midget? <laughs> Not enough. That's guttural. <laughs> I had a physical reaction to that. Well, get ready. Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> Grandpa Gumbo again. Still here in Sevierville. Yep, 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 yep. I am. We're going to go home, though. Yep. We'll ride two hours. Get back to train. Almost 
told you where I live. Anyway, I'm gonna leave now. You can see I had a good breakfast. Flapjacks. Yep. Flapjacks. <laughs> Flapjacks. Yep. Hey, well, if you're still watching, flapjacks or pancakes? Rank them. <laughs> Uh, we have a. She looks a, dented. We have an old. We have. She, she's back. He, she. I think he is back. Oh, this is the one that you have to be quicker you than got, that. Got to be quicker than that. Yeah, he's back. He has his own page now, and he's looking for love. Any girl out there? I'm trying to find a girlfriend, and I know you girls are not like me. You don't even know me, and I'm sorry. I just need to find a girl when I'm my age. <laughs> 36 years old. Just the ultimate cool guy well, video. Why would you... Yeah, this the Mr. wind. Dude, we... Mr. Cool. Yeah, that's... Is Mike Fire too cool? He didn't recording. Damn it. <laughs> so, girl, if you get this, go take a hike and make a tree and take a hike, little bitch. <laughs> make like a tree and fuck off. <laughs> make like a tree and take a hike. <laughs> Have you ever seen Trailer Park Boys? Yeah. You know, yeah. Make like a tree. How about you make like a tree and fuck off? Yep. Make like a tree and take a hike is an all time quote. Just did not get the <laughs> did not get the memo. Also, it appears someone inquired about the last video. She's like, fuck you. Okay. That's a he. He's like, fuck you. You're not you're not between the ages of twenty two and twenty five or twenty two and twenty six or twenty three yeah. and twenty seven. Mr. Castle Mr. Castle's been ghost deleting us. his Snapchat. Yeah, listen, you're new to the game. He's not deleting his Snapchat. No, I know. He's not deleting his TikTok. And either. if you don't want to spend time with my best friend, oh, and that's about it. No more. No more. Yeah, dude, listen, if you don't want to spend time with his best friend, then. Is that two bears clip? Yeah. What is it? I don't. I didn't. Oh, that's Ben Bowman. He, uh, uh, shout out Ben. He, uh, he's working with, uh, the Legends of Iron, you just got signed on. It's like his full time job now. Damn, that's made sick. it to the podcasting realm. That's what's up. Tell him to shout yeah, us out. Absolutely, what's up? We're done. We people with the Tism are very unique. Let's call ourselves the Tism Gang. Hold on. Yep. I, I did. I ever send you the uh, this guy seems fun at parties? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll pull it up and then I'll play the audio and then I'll show you the video. Look at the best mouth on TikTok. To come up, don't forget about your dog. That law. I'm a free oh. nigga, so it's fucked. It. Oh my law. god, huh? <laughs> come on. Hold on, I'm trying to find something. No, you gotta watch this. I was real trying quick. to find something. Alright, alright. Okay. So. Are you sending it to me? I can send it to you. Are we watching it? What? What? How do I? I'll just send it to you. Is it a TikTok? You. Yeah. Okay, yeah, send it to me. So it's this. He says, you must be fun at parties. Well, I'm not. I got the tism. <laughs> well, I'm not. That's fine. I have the tism. All right, ready? Yeah. On TikTok. This guy said he has the best don't mouth on TikTok. This guy's chucking an orange 40 yards. He caught it in his mouth. That sounds like it hurt. Bro, that made a lot of That looked so painful. Dude, when Look I... Look at that, dude. When I... <laughs> when I ask what that mouth do, I want that. <laughs> this is I what I have. That. This yeah. is what I have in mind. Yeah, that's the only acceptable. We unfortunately oh, once man. again woke up to another day, which means we have to open up our 202nd sealed <laughs> copy of Shrek on VHS to try to find ourselves a Kia Sedona minivan from 2001. So far, we've only found 200 copies of ice cream from Baskin Robbins. And the coupons, they do in fact work. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see that. But opening up our 203rd, we get ourselves, of course, more Baskin Robbins. What else could it possibly be? Check out my YouTube. I got to see if he followed up about the, the video of him getting ice cream. Also, I can't believe how many of these he's done. Is he really at 200? Clearing up some of the confusion from the soda review, some people are claiming that it's not the same person. This is definitely who this person is. Yeah, I have zero doubts in my mind. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, congratulations, Eagles. you be another trash team. I've been saying it, bro. Your schedule is 
Easy. You guys have not been anybody good. Is he? That's the Cardinals are not good. Been saying it. All he's a Giants fan. Bad I mean, takes. He's, he's not wrong. The Cardinals are bad. The Eagles like, have had a pretty tough schedule, though. Well, not they tough. They beat the Cowboys. Mid, mid schedule. They beat the Vikings, who were 5-1. I don't know. They played some good All along, the, the Cardinals are not good. Okay. Well, now you guys have the Cowboys. And damn it, man, the Rams suck. The Rams. The Rams do you stink. You suck. I'm done, bro. The Rams are fucking done. They have got to be one of the worst teams ever right now. Not, not true. There's a lot of bad teams I, historically. I think the worst team right now is reserved for the Cardinals. They have, or the Broncos. They're both not good at football. I'm a period. Someone made a remix. Dude, I bet it was her. That's true. Uh, let's let's end rock out with your talk out with this one. Someone did a, a remix of Do we got any, any adventures in our I wanna kill my mom. I wanna kill my dad. I wanna kill my girl. I wanna kill <laughs> the dude laughing might be the best part of that video because he's so caught he's off guard. Just perplexed. Is this the end of the episode? <laughs> <laughs> Your dad go whoop you. Don't talk to me. I'll murder you. <laughs> you making them people leave. <laughs> All the pain in my heart. <laughs> I bleed. Who is that? I don't know, but I love whoop so much. Do we have any adventures in Ardia? Um, oh, I, I see a Nicole. You already watched this Yo, movie? what's up, so I don't lovers? think so. It's Nicole. Here. The last Nicole was a Mountain Dew, I think. Mountain Dew oh. Voodoo. Oh, we can watch this. Mountain Dew Voodoo. I want to watch Adventures in Yeah, Earth. we can. We'll just have to go watch new ones. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and Beyond. I want to kill my That's grandma. Good afternoon, d I want to kill my grandma. I might get a McDonald's fry on the way home. Good That's afternoon, D and D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate That's a good decide move. my lunch. Let's go. This episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by the Chop and Stick Cutting Board. This neat little cutting board comes with a removable magnetic knife block, as well as some small spreaders and servers for using it as a charcuterie board. It even has a groove on top designed to hold your phone or tablet, so you can reference recipes or brush up on your D and D character's abilities while you cook. Let's get started with the roll for bread. Four pumpkin bread. This is a pumpkin brioche that I picked up recently, swirled with pumpkin pie spice. That's Hopefully we can so find the right stuff to go that with sounds it. sounds nice. Next up, let's roll for our main. Five, vegan chicken patty. All right, not my favorite, but not the worst I could have rolled. Let's see about the cheese. Two, provolone. This mild and smoky provolone will at least not further complicate the flavors of this sandwich. Let's roll for roughage. Seven, tomato, and 11, none. I don't know. I'm starting to get a little worried. All of these ingredients so far are fine in their own right, but I'm not sure that they're going to really go together. After a 10 out of 10 on Wednesday, I'm a little bit worried that the dice I are know where we're going everything. after this. All right, let's roll wild magic. Also, he has a standard-ass chicken sandwich, but with pumpkin. Like, it's not that crazy. You're not, not that crazy, but that doesn't sound good to me. That's not something that I'd be like, yeah, let's throw some pumpkin spice in well, there. Well, yeah, definitely not. But, like, it could be a lot worse. He's going to be like Three, this is candy corn. Uh, no, there I'm we not go. in the group that believes that candy corn is the worst substance ever made. It's fine on occasion. But I don't think it's going to be fine here. All right, last but not least, it's Catch the D20 out. sauce roll. 18, cranberry horseradish. This is an interesting time for this sauce to debut. So sure I think it is. actually will go well with this bread, I, and it might be great with like a ham and cheese on this type of bread. But as it stands, that will be good, like a, Monte, so a pumpkin Monte Cristo. Let's go ahead and get our toothpicks in to hold it together, and let's get it cut in half. Oh, this is this is difficult. <laughs> and let's go ahead and take a look I feel at like that it cross section. Be difficult. Oh, I guess with the candy corn. Well, it's festive, that's for sure. Let's give it a taste. This is um, this is the the Thanksgiving sandwiches, arch rival. Just yeah, the, his evil twin. <laughs> this is the nightmare before Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> Here goes. Okay. This this is a textural nightmare. There's I, a lot. I bet there's some gooey. There's some straight up slop with the tomato. There's ugh. 
I gotta say that pumpkin bread toasted with like a cream cheese spread, or even like some extra cinnamon sugar, would just uh, yeah it would bang. Hit. It would hit. Of bread here, so this ended up being kind of a mushy sandwich with random hard chunks of candy corn, <laughs> and the candy corn is just pure sugar, so it ends up being way too sweet in the bites that have any candy corn in them. Had this had a saltier or more flavorful main, it might have balanced out. But as it is, this was a hard one to get through. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 3.0, bumped up purely by the fact that that cranberry horseradish was pretty good and paired well with the bread. And I'm gonna call it the trick or trick. <laughs> Thanks again to Chop and Stick for- That's fair. Uh, what do we need? We need Wednesday. 81. Episode Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Paleo Games. They are currently crowdfunding a D&D 5e supplemental source book full of dinosaurs, and they are paleontologists themselves. Check the link in my bio for more information. All right, first up, let's roll for bread. One, freezer ends. All that freezer ends means is using up a little stub of bread that's left in my freezer. I try to do my best not to waste food. Today, it's sprouted green. Next up, let's roll for main. 12, butter and re-roll. Paleo Games is actually out of the UK, so it's like fitting this. that I get to butter this sandwich. All right, here's our re-roll. So 11, roll twice. I think he toasted it. Yeah, this is gonna be All right, rolling again for main. One spam and three bologna. I grew up on spam, so I really don't mind it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's double salty, hot dog. But in moderation and prepared correctly, it can taste pretty good. I have a few extra spoons today, so I decided you do not to get fry to it, up, it up along you with the bologna. Piece of shit. They both occupy a similar place on the That's flavor bullshit. spectrum, which I'm makes for a cohesive bullshit. sandwich so far. That is bullshit. Next up, let's roll for cheese. That butter, though, it's gonna hit. Four, Swiss. The slightly bitter yet not overpowering Swiss, I think, will pair well here. Should get a little melty, too. Next yeah, up, let's roll cheated. for roughage. <laughs> One lettuce and 12 roll twice. All right, let's roll again for that 12. Eight banana peppers and 11 none. That's a this nice sandwich. This is technically spring mix, big. but I need That's to use That's a nice it up sandwich right bad. now. We'll just go That's ahead and call nice it It's got a nice sauce in there. Next up, the triumphant return of banana peppers. A nice bright hit of banana vinegar to cut through the, the fat vegetable. from the meat. Banana is peppers exactly are elite. what this sandwich needed. I don't want to count my dinos before they hatch, but I have hope for this sandwich. All right, let's hit it with a little wild magic. It's bacon! Elite, Man, we've hit dude. a streak of real clunkers lately on RFS, and this one, I'm so happy right now. You should Let's hope be. the D20 sauce roll doesn't come in like a meteor. 19, pickle, dill pickle mustard. That sounds banging. I could banging. not have picked a better sauce for That's this This is sandwich. relish. It's about dang time we had a good one. Get it closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together, and let's get it I am excited half. for him. I'm happy for him, even though he cheated. Do you think that this is... And let's like take a look at that cross-section. That's pretty fucking Looks good to me. Looks banging, dude. It seems that the wrath of the dice gods has abated for a while. Let's see how this sandwich tastes. Oh, that's good. I've never had to eat spam in my life before, but I think I need to keep it that way because I feel like I would be a big spam guy once I, I dive in. You want me to hold you accountable for not eating spam? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, make sure I'm... You're, you're my. start eating spam? You're my sponsor. <laughs> For no spam. Isn't it just like spreadable bologna? You're my junk in box. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine spreading it on like a piece of I don't like think it's spreadable. Dough? I think it's it's hard. Well, think about it. If you could spread it and then you put it like a thin layer on a piece of sourdough and then flip that bitch over and fry it and then put butter on the other side. An open face sandwich. Yeah, that shit would yeah, be that's banging. Nice. It's nice and salty. Oh, yeah. I had no doubts that this was going to be great. It's the perfect mix of salty, fatty, savory, and acidic. These are the kind of sandwiches that this series was made for. Sometimes you thread the needle and you hit that crit. This is easily a 10 out of 10. And as for a name, I'm going to call it the Jurassic Pork. <laughs> Thanks again to Paleo Games for sponsoring this episode. Make sure you check out their Kickstarter by following. And he just wanted to share it. You think he just spent like 20 minutes trying to get a video of the right roll? Yeah, 100%. You think some days he just lines a roll up so he can put them together? I bet he gets one good roll, and he's like, I'm going to rework this. <laughs> he's like, oh, this is going to be too good. I can't let the people see this. Mm -hmm. Following the link in my bio and support the really cool work that they're doing. I hope you have a I don't like his glasses. I'm going to say it. He's got the um, <laughs> the ones that change. Yeah, he's uh, it's, it's despicable behavior. 
All right, Hunt, you want to uh, get on out of here? Yeah. Well, we rolled for some sandwich. Let's we, uh, stop praising the false gods. Of sandwiches? <laughs> Just in general. <laughs> I think we need to keep up whatever we were doing there. Um, Do you have any Pringles? I actually oh, is housed. Is Blackbeard going to wash Law, or is the Crossco going to save his yee-ass crew? I bet, dude, I bet Law gets fucking ganked. Is this uh, One Piece talk? Yeah, the One Piece. The One Piece is real! Hey, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I don't know if the One Piece is real. They haven't gotten there yet. They That's have. I saw tw- I saw tweets. I also <laughs> That's beca- not true. All right? What's the One Piece, then? I don't fucking know, but Tim was all excited. All right? Um, what did he say? He said, read my question. We just did. Fucking listen. Well, right? Dude, there's a fucking delay. Don't be talking shit okay. to Smadam Immens. I don't think there's that much of a delay. I think you need to simmer down. I think you're, you're right. Hey, you're up here. I need you down here. Okay. Well, thank you all for tuning in. Go to uh, plungepodcast.com. Find all things plunge. Get ready for plunging for a cause. We're about a month and a half out. It's uh, December... <laughs> What's uh No, it's like 9th and 10th, I think. It's December 9th into the 10th. 24-hour live stream for the Special Olympics. Oh, I don't even need to request time off. I just have those days off. Just off. Nice. I have that day before, too. You have Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Yeah, I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's nice. Uh, so, yeah, get ready. December 9th and 10th, plunging for a cause. Do you want me to teach a one-hour class on pharmacy? No, that sounds like the worst thing we could possibly do. I could do that. I want you to train two. your fucking milk squad. That's what I want you to do. I'm not going to do that. They're going to disappoint just like I disappointed last year. I'm training them this, to do what to I do. To do what you do, yeah. yeah. That's fair. Hey, hey, Corey's gonna show up, drink a cup of milk, and be like, "All right, I gotta go, like, jump out of a plane Corey's or something." Gonna, I gotta go do dad things. Dude, I bet his kid could slam slam milk. Yeah, she can. I can assure you, she is de facto. I've fed her some milk, team, and boy, way. she slams that milk. You think she like regular milk, or is she just like big tit milk right now? Formula, baby. No, no breastfeed. I don't know formula. What about? I what? feed her formula, so I don't think you go back. I think you think she would latch onto you. <laughs> Probably, I'm afraid. We can't <laughs> let that happen. Go to innercirclepn.com to find all of our family and friends over at the Inner Circle. You got the Angry Dad, the Untrained Eye, Failing Hollywood, the Hood Diner. Shit happens when you party naked. The Joby Show. The Joby Show. And the Simmons and More podcast. Go check them all out. In the Hood Diner. You have, uh, I think I said the Hood Diner, but the Hood Diner. Go check them out. Double. The and rah, rah, rah. I don't know. They're bad. They know. might be back. I don't know. Go check them out, innercirclepn.com, innercirclepn on all socials. You said tell them to check out Big Ben? I did tell them. That was the first one I said. Okay. Go check out Legends of Iron. Keep I that man employed. Can I tell you, when you talk at the end of the show, I don't really listen. I don't listen either. I t- it's, it's, it's on a script. Wait, I'm already doing other shit. Yeah, I mean, in my brain, I'm gone. Go to patreon.com slash the plunge. Uh, Matt and Shane's secret podcast. Yeah, go to Matt and Shane's secret podcast and find the secret secret podcast on their Patreon. We're even gonna, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, we're plugging pod. Go to we're the hidden tr- behind two different paywalls. Go to the Trill Withers show with Trill Withers, hosted by Trill Withers every day. All right, twelve to three on and you YouTube. You know what? Yeah, Glenn thinks stuff. Glenn does think stuff. We'll <laughs> see you guys next week. <laughs>